Thanks to, of course, the latest trailer on Gran Turismo's YouTube channel, we have confirmation of the three vehicles, and for those who are curious, myself included, what, if any, new circuits are arriving in the latest update. Now, the update is dropping tomorrow, the 25th, and there are three new circuit variations, not a new circuit, though. It's at Catalonia in particular. We have a national circuit, a no-chicane circuit, and most curiously, a rallycross circuit. So an interesting mixed bag. I'm not going to lie to you and say that I wouldn't have preferred a completely new circuit. I would have, personally. But I will definitely say this is a step up from just the, oh, it's a different circuit because it's a different starting position that they pulled before with Spa, which I think was a total waste of adding a new quote-unquote circuit. I know that some people disagree with that, but whatever. As far as the cars themselves, of course, the McLaren MP44, the Cayman GT4, and the Pontiac GTO Judge, as we talked about a couple of days ago. I'm actually probably looking forward to the Pontiac the most. My plan is to review the update tomorrow, but that's going to depend on if we can buy the cars. Because if two of these three cars are in the Legends dealer and we can't even buy them, there's not really going to be that much to talk about beyond the Porsche Cayman. So if we can't buy them tomorrow, then I'll probably feature it on Friday. And if we can buy them all in one go, then I'll feature that tomorrow. So of course, if you want to know my breakdown and my thoughts on the whole update from the circuits to the cars to any other notable stuff, then of course swing by the channel tomorrow. As far as Friday though, that's actually going to be a bit of a swap around because my original plan for today was to release my real world review of the Jaguar XFRS in the Beards and Cars series the real-world counterpart to my Gran Turismo and Forza gaming-related stuff. So that, for now, is going to be moved until Friday, and that's going to depend on if we can buy the cars in the game tomorrow. So if we can buy them, the review will be tomorrow. If we can't buy them day one, then I'll do the Jag tomorrow and flip the review until Friday, just so that you can know what to expect. As far as the overall update, of course thoughts are going to be mixed, especially on the circuit side of things. I personally am looking forward to seeing what liveries people do on the McLaren. I would personally love to see some maybe Benetton B186 liveries, maybe a Williams FW15C, something like that. Some of my personal favourite Formula cars, so doubtless there'll be a ton of creativity there. Maybe even some kind of retro version of the HSBC Jaguar livery, which is another one of my personal favourites. But of course, stick around on the channel for the feature an update of, you know, or, or the review, I should say, of the whole new update. And for those who are interested in the real world car stuff, a review of the Jaguar XFRS. But until next time, I'll see you then. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.